Good afternoon and welcome from Bish's RV, the Quad Cities. This is Pete once again. Today we've got Grand Design Solitude. This is a 2023 Solitude, model number 310GK-R. And this presentation again brought to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, let's step back here and get a good look at the campsite on this unit. This is loaded with a lot of neat features as they do change on the fly here. 2023, this is an earlier edition 2023 unit. I'll point out everything I can. Swept aerodynamic front cap on there. That is complete with the embedded LSD lighting in there. Here we've got the Moride pin box included on the unit, installed and ready to go. Plenty of storage in the four storage area there. I left that closed for now. This is obviously going to be a multiple slide out unit. We'll step back here and take a look at it. Three slide outs to be exact. And there's functional windows on the sides of the slide out right over there. And on around towards the outside of the offside here, we've got frameless cut, radius cut windows on it. The frameless windows, way cool. Those things are just awesome. Now, the level up system included on the unit over here, twin 30 pound LP tanks. Let's open things up here, flop open this cover and take a peek on the inside. There we go. Here's your auto level. We've got the hose reel for the 50 amp electric cord right on there. These are motion activated lights inside on the pass through. Oh, excuse me, I spoke too soon. Not motion activated on this side at least. And over to here, unified docking center. This is complete with the exterior shower setup. All sorts of connections there for coax cable, giving you all kinds of flexibility for connections outside through here. GFCI protected electrical outlet in there as well as your city water, black tank flush, and your winterizing and multi-purpose valve setup right through there. It tells you how to operate that manifold with those little instructions on that tag right above. It makes it just as easy as can be to operate that. Ice maker shutoff switch makes winterizing all the easier there. Low point drains over towards the right side. And this would be your whole coach water filter. And all in one neat, easily engineered docking station right through there. Oh, and I almost forgot in behind here, your tank flush system. There you go. With all your tank flush valves contained within the heated bay right through there with remote valve handles on there. How cool is that? Okay, let's take a look as we move along past your 50 amp electrical service with the twist lock cord on there. This is going to be triple three levelers on there. This is your midpoint leveler on there on the level up system. Underneath, this is going to be your tandems on there and the deluxe aluminum rims. There's going to be nitrogen filled radial tires. This is upgraded to the Cooper H rated tires on there, 17 and a half inch wheels on it also worthy of note is the fact this unit has the 7k axles on it that means you do have abs braking on the unit 7k axles on the solitude that equals abs braking all right here we go a look at it from the offside and the back side here on a bit of an angle full walk on roof crowned walk on roof there with the full access ladder on the back down below you do have a class 3 hitch on there complete with the four point boat connector, electric connector for allowing you to uh, tow doubles depending on your DOT regulations on what state you're in. Of course, double check that. You are prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision or backup camera if you wish. You would go right on there. There's the slug for that, the Furion system, which we do carry here. It's an option you may wish to consider or explore at your discretion if you wish. Let's we'll step back over here towards the campsite, take a look at this. This unit is solar prepped, it means it's very easy to add your solar uh, panel on the top. We do have the ability to add solar to any uh, solitude unit you wish. Just let us know, inquire about that. We do have the under unit lighting down below underneath there. As you can tell, exterior speakers are on there. Now I didn't extend the awnings both way. Oh, I said awnings, plural, awnings, one, two. How about that? I didn't extend all the awnings all the way out. I didn't have quite the, uh, the operating room to work with that here. Maybe we'll go tell a photo here a little bit and let you see. There's two awnings right there, both of them 12 volt activated with the complete with the LSD strip lighting in behind that. And again, these are the frameless windows, tinted safety glass, radius cut frameless windows. How cool is that? That's way cool. They look really awesome on the unit. 
Okay, moving along over here towards the entryway here, solid piece staircase. This is gonna be more rides, solid piece staircase, the step above system. And that is on the balanced system that allows you to open that with just with one hand. It is counterweighted, counterbalanced with a hydraulic cylinder, makes deploying that staircase very, very easy. No more struggling with a heavy uh, staircase that doesn't have an assist on it. This one has the full assist, <laughs> way cool. This is the Swing Out D Assist AZ Entry handle right on there. You know the drill on those, you've seen those before. It's porch light on there. And again, that cool strip lighting in behind it. All right, over to here. Here you have a spray port making it very easy for you to clean and maintain your awning as well. Let's open up our pass through right on this side if I can do it with one hand, with any luck I can. Now check this out. I'm gonna go extra slow with the slam latch doors. Look at the thickness of these doors here. We're not talking about a flimsy, wimpy door. That's the solid deal right there, complete with the magnet grabs on the top. Way cool. Look at this for pass-through storage, dude. Yeah, you can store the dead bodies in there and whatever you want in there. No, don't put dead bodies in there. That violates camping rules. Most campgrounds frown on that. Anyway, uh, central vacuum is on here as well as your inverter. That's the green light right there. The inverter is because, well, we're going to talk about that on the inside in just a little bit. There's your central vacuum accoutrements, your tools that go along with that. You have the tire link right there so you can easily add the capability of checking your tire pressures remotely with that and your battery cutoff switch as well. That'll pretty well round out things on the exterior on these units. We'll take a quick peek at it going up through this way. And let's continue on to the interior. With another reminder, this presentation does come to you compliments of Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Now, as we step on to the inside, to the interior, this features the stone interior decor. Now, other interior decors may be available, depending on which your unit, which unit you're looking at. Just do a, a little inquiry about that. We'll be happy to fill you in about the interior decor options on these great solitude units. All right, let's start right out over here with the sofa, Thomas Payne collection, super slide on here with the theater seats over here that's complete with the uh, heat massage and light functions on the theater seats. Tall, tall, tall slide out. I mean a very tall slide out. You're not gonna be whapping your head in on the top of this slide out fascia on here because it's a very generously apportioned slide out. Coming across over to here is sofa number two, the other sofa. And that'll be a sleeper sofa. It'll add a little extra sleeping capacity in here. Plenty of storage up above. 15K fully ducted AC unit, one of two. You do have another 15K unit as well. And that one does include the heat, pu heat pump function as well. Down below over to here, USB and 110 volt powered outlets, as well as a safety detector down over there. Look at this great fireplace. This is cool. No, actually it's pretty hot. It's uh, it's fine. It does look cool. It is a nice warm 5,000 BTU fireplace because it does supply supplemental heat. It is the real deal. Okay, the boob tube. Where is it? Okay, it's on the riser mechanism. We're going to get to that in a minute. I just wanted to take a look at it from this angle without. All right, up and above here, we've got your entertainment center. This is the Rockford Fosgate Entertainment Center with AM, FM, and you do have the uh, Bluetooth function capability on there and a USB connection as well. The TV lift. All right, now we're talking. Hold on a minute. I got to get my hands in the right position here. All right, one touch of the knob and away we go. Here comes the TV. Our unloaded vehicle weight, 12,100 pounds. Our height on this unit, 2,350 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating of 15,000 pounds. The length on this unit, 34 foot, 11 inches. Height, 13 foot, 5 inches. And when we're talking about tank capacity, 93 gallons fresh water, 100 gallons on uh, gray water. Black tank, oh, the infamous black tank is 50 gallons. Okay, and look at that, ta-da. We've got our flat screen boob to our TV set right up there. I'm gonna guess about a 48 inch 
flat screen HD TV on there. And let's take a look at your kitchen accoutrements. I'll step back over here, you can see the island. Now look, check this out and look for something that you don't see or you won't see something you're looking, wait, never mind. Uh, heat registers, they're not in the floor. You're not gonna be sweeping your dust and dirt down into the, the heat registers. You'll be sweeping them into the central vacuum system. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you have to look pretty hard to find your heat ducts. Your registers, I mean. There's a heat register, but when you're standing up like this, you don't even see that. Pretty cool. That is awesome. Not to have to see registers and you don't have a big cloud of dust poofing up when the furnace kicks on. <laughs> Way cool. All right, here's the back side of the island. And we're talking the high-rise faucet right here, the spray attachment nozzle. This is going to be a recessed mounted deep sink with the recessed mount. Makes it more sanitary, easier to keep clean. It's a twin bowl sink. On over to here to the full-size residential-sized microwave oven, down below which we've got your four-burner chef-inspired stove top on here. And with the lit controls, way cool. And underneath the oven. Oh yeah, we're talking Thanksgiving time. Put the whole turkey in there. Make it a 27 pounder if you can find one that big. Plenty of counter space, check that out. How far have you gone? How many have you looked at to find this sort of well apportioned counter space? And you're gonna want that, you're gonna need that. And might as well have it. There you go. We're going to get over to that in just a minute. This is way cool, too. That's the pantry. All right. Now, the R part of this 310 GK Ahem Dash R, the residential refrigerator. Okay, we're talking about a Samsung 18 cubic foot refrigerator on here. And that is why we have that inverter down in the bulkhead there in the pass through. We talked about very briefly earlier. You've got that inverter on board. You're gonna want those twin 27, group size 27 batteries on there. That'll allow the inverter to power up your refrigerator just long enough to get you from here to there. Or if you needed to use it for an extra day or so without electrical power, you have that flexibility and that capability there. Down below, the freezer portion. Oh, forgot, I got the travel latch latched on it. There we go, let's open it up and take a peek. This is way cool. That's better than mine is at home. Man, we'll shut that back down, move on around the corner over to here. This is the pantry I was talking about. Look at that neat lighting in there. Way cool. And an elegant little accent light on the top. And as long as we're up on the top, coming down from the hutch over towards below the hutch where you have yet again, more food prep area or, you know, a place to put dead cats or whatever you want. No, don't put dead cats on. Place, great place to clean fish. No, don't tell your wife about that either. At any rate. Oh, yeah, central vacuum action. Here we go with the dustpan. And just drop your foot onto that. Lift it up. You can just sweep all your dirt right in into there like that. Step on it down. And it's closed, it's done, and ta-da, that's that. You can add your attachments and tools if you wish. There's a port for that right underneath there. Makes deep cleaning or scrubbing out things just a snap. Max Air Vent Fan. There's the control for it as well as your thermostat, your whole coach vent fan. That does include the rain sensor right up overhead here. Those are awesome. I'm sure you already knew about that, I would sure think. Uh, man, a whole coach vent, it just, it's the bomb. It does it. Here we go with our ceiling. Give you a quick view of the top. Now I've got the, the panel open over here. Here we've got your control panels, including your systems monitor information, your front awning, rear awning. Remember you got those two awnings out there on this unit, as well as lighting controls, tank heats, because, oh yeah, don't forget you have tank heat on these units too. So that's gonna be for extended season peace of mind. And your slide out controls on there to boot. There we go. All right, now, unified system information can also be done over here on the touch screen. I'm gonna fire it up real quick, and this will give you quick access to turn on or off all the lights in one friendly, neat and easy, comprehensive unified center. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. 
All right, this unit comes with uh, four different packages. We have the Solitude Residential Living Package. You saw the best of that already. The Solitude Peace of Mind Package, your Weather Tech Package, and the Max Built Construction Package. You can get the details of those on the Grand Design website. Okay, everybody's favorite room. The China Porcelain Biffy, the Can, the Lou, the John, the Head, the, the or as Archie Bunker called it, the Turlet. Okay, there you go. China Porcelain Foot Flush Marine Grade Stool in there. Here we've got your tri-slide glass door on the full shower surround. Surround with the teak wood seat on there. You better draw your attention to that. And the surround goes all the way up to the skylight overhead. Oh, and don't forget, here we go with the meat attachments, the three-way shower, if you will. I'm going to move around the corner here and show you the lavatory. Very neat vessel style lavatory. Well, I wouldn't say it's a vessel, but it's it's recessed mounted in there very elegantly regardless. And a nice size medicine cabinet. That takes a lot of trips to the doctor to fill that baby up. Okay, on into here. Now here we've got an option that's included on this particular unit, and that would be the king bed upgrade. Wah! Yeah, there we go. It should have kind of like the little streamers of light coming out of it when you come around. And never mind. Anyway, uh, don't forget again, the other upgrade was the heat pump AC. We, that is included on here as well as those Cooper H-rated tires down underneath. Oh, there we go. Our second AC unit. Again, 15,000 BTU. This gives you a full grand total, obviously, of, if I did my math correctly, 30,000 BTU on the Stealth AC system. I, I failed math in third grade, but I think I've I got it straight now. Anyway, thermostat in here for the bedroom. Here is your USB charge ports and 110 volt power over there to charge your cell phone at night. This is cool. The bedroom slide out. There you go. And over to here is where you would have mounted your other 110 volt power and your um, USB charge ports for the opposite corresponding side to the king bed. Now, I threw up in the closet in here to demonstrate. There you go with full prep, easy addition of an all-in-one washer and dryer, should you wish. You're wired in, obviously, with twin outlets on there. And the water and the return wastewater is in there. It even indicates where you need to cut to add in the vent for the dryer. So you're full washer and dryer prep. How cool is that? Way cool. All right, back over to here. This option is included on the unit, and that would be the bedroom TV. I'm going to say it's about a 32-inch flat-screen TV in the bedroom. Included on there is an egress window in behind here. Full-function egress window because you can open and close that and use that under your normal circumstances as well. That, I think, pretty well wraps everything up. Again, this is in the stone decor, and other decor options are available. Just have to inquire about that. I think we're going to wrap things up in here inside Grand Design Solitude. This is model number 310GK-R. That's the refrigerator. With a final reminder, this presentation has been brought to you by Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Thank you for watching. Happy trails. We'll see you around.